Hello and welcome to Complexity Limits Guide for their Mythic Rathian Encounter, written and produced by Crazy Puck in coordination with Complexity Limit, brought to you by GameStop. Just as a heads up before we begin, this video is entirely focused on the mythic mechanics and changes to the fight. We are not going to discuss how the heroic mechanics work. If you want to learn more about them, please check out our heroic version of the guide video for this boss. We recommend going in with two tanks, four healers, and 14 DPS, and we still recommend using Bloodlust on the pool for this fight. On Mythic, Rathian has one important change to each of his phases. In phase one, all players will be affected by the Creeping Madness debuff. When you move, you'll gain stacks of Slow, which lasts 25 seconds and refreshes the duration with each new stack you get. If you reach 50 stacks, moving will start to deal massive damage every step you take. To counter this, you'll want to minimize movement as much as possible. Melee should be stacked on the boss's side, ranged should be stacked 25 to 30 yards away. Players affected by incineration still need to move away from the raid and then get back to their spots. When the Gale Blast and Burning Cataclysm combo occurs, move to the safe spot on the platform, then wait for Rathian to run back to you. Don't run back to him. If you get high stacks, snare removal effects can clear your stacks. Things like Blessing of Freedom, Warlock's Gateway, or Hunter's Post Haste. In Phase 2, all of the Crackling Shard Pillars are now immune to damage. When a player with Burning Madness runs over the shards, they now lose their immunity and can be DPSed instead of them dying like they do on Heroic. Each player with Burning Madness will be able to clear 10 shards of their invulnerability, and there will be 30 shards total. Remember, any shards you don't kill will become Lava Pools. As such, pre-plant areas where you know you want to clear and focus on breaking the immune on those shards first. Then, clear out as many more of the shards as you can. Ideally, you can clear out all of them. We recommend making absolutely sure you keep the middle of the room clear and always have a path to each edge of the room. Thanks for watching. We hope you found the guide helpful. If you'd like more details on this encounter or how it works, please click the link below to our written guide. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find the rest of our Nihilotha boss guides right here on our channel or at complexity.gg. For more content like this, follow Complexity on Twitter and subscribe to their YouTube channel. To keep up with Limit's Race for World First, follow them on Twitter. Happy reading!